The soft sound of snow crunching underfoot gives me comfort. Her building is at the end of the block. She lives on the north side, bottom floor, middle apartment. I see her. her coat and scarf in the entry and kicks off those vexing shoes. She shuffles to the kitchen and pours a glass of scotch.
Really? Who told you that? It was, uh, I think it was Channel 4 about 10 years ago before it was teenager if I, yeah. Ah, uh, you mean before Hollyoaks turned into a porn show? Yeah, that was one. Yeah. Back when, uh... Back when children played play war games. Yeah. They didn't play war games. Yeah, like, And um, believe that their, their parents would respawn if they got chopped. Yeah. Well, hello, hello. Hello, hello. It was more than 10 years ago. That's not what I was trying to say, but anyway, television was so much more classy back then. Now it's all just, oh my god, it's both watershed, time for some titties, giggity giggity giggity. Thank you, Charlie, I know you. Breaking all sea phrases, getting tired. Oh, I'm not, uh, <laughs> that word. I don't even know who you people are. We are the word preservation society. Hands up if you've ever wanted to do this to someone. If you want to do to them what society's done to you. If you want to just like break stuff and fucking have a riot. If you've ever had a rebellious or aggressive thought in your life, think of it now. Put your hand up. Something, but well, 
never enough, no? Nah, it was never enough. I think, uh, uh, if you had I wish I'd done more. Just done more? Like what? He just said a good punch in the face. Ah. So, in that case, you wanted to fight for yourself. Yeah. To stop being called names and things like that, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? You got one? Yeah. Who is it against? Some lads. Um, forgot his name. And uh, it was a few years ago. A few of my mates uh, gave him some stick. Um, you know, it was kind of tip for tap, you know? Okay. I saw this lad with his mate on his own. Um, I was on my own. And uh, he came up to me and punched me in the face. He punched you in the face? Yeah. Um, what did you do? I stood there and just took it. I, I wanted to so bad. Why but didn't you? I, I just knew the consequences. Didn't really. So you think the consequences were greater than fighting for yourself? Yeah, they probably were. Okay. Have you got one? Who's it against? Um, just some people in my class in my school. Okay. What did you want to do to them? Um, just show them that they couldn't just like walk away from this stuff. So you want to stand up for yourself? I don't know the floor. So I don't know how really. You just didn't know how. You wanted to, but you didn't know how. Exactly, yes. Okay. I've got one as well. Goes out to a man called uh, Nick Clegg. Uh, every time I see him, hear about him and his so-called apology for putting students in so much pain, uh, I just, my blood boils. I'd like to shove his head so far up Cameron's ass that Cameron smells the place breath. <laughs> but uh, apparently I can't do that, according to the law. In that case, there's one issue that I won't fight for physically, but there are other ways around it. Poetry, plays, songs, protests. So, yeah. That was me thinking I was enough enough in this world to fight for. We did become tame as a race. We've been told to accept things the way they are, and if we want something done, then we should wait for it. Yeah, at the same time, we've been told to always search for more answers. Do you know what we get? More questions. This person there is obviously being symbolic. I'm not going to patronise you and say that she represents the man or big brother. Then, even more she does. We've been told that some feelings are better left unsaid. You smell that? Bullshit. Compassion is the key to defining humanity. Is it? Yeah. Expression. Expression is the manifestation of that compassion. And it, it's what saves us from being an animal or lesser species. Yeah, don't be a twat and think that all animals or lesser species are equal or better than us because fuck your Bible's rules. They're not rules at all. They're just like, like <coughs> guidelines. It's like going outside the lines on a coloring book. It's a bit messy. You can still kind of get a general idea of what it is. While still claiming it, to be your own. See, that's the genius of the human race, we have the innate ability to identify and analyse, although over time this has become suppressed. Example, university students are expected to pay more than they might ever earn in a lifetime. Students, young, fit, Me. violent, Me. aggressive, Me. and very, very pissed off students. 
Yes, how many speak up? Uh, did you speak up? No? Did you? Any of you? Wait, there's only a handful. Why? Because the human race is fucked. It's been fucked. Amen. Fucked so hard that it might not ever be able to get better to walk straight ever again. Crude. Very, very crude. But I guess it's true. As is the fact that this woman, would you agree, is naked and completely devoid of anything defining. That is humanity. Precisely. This is what humanity is. But it's not all we can be, though, is it? We just need that little slap in the face to be able to say, Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 